day I woke up and I realized I need help. I go through too much bullshit by not loving myself. It's like, I love me in theory on the surface, but sure, but it gets contradicted by the bullshit that I settle for. Trying to help everyone out when my life is a mess. I be double texting niggas screaming, don't settle for less. I be speaking love into women when it's me who needs the most. Cause I'm in love with a man that I can't even post. Saying the words are not enough, your actions must match. You can't constantly speak loud about them things that you lack. I scream self-love so loud and so proudly. You see, it's like I love everyone, but no one's loving me. Cause when did loving yourself equate to you feeling used? Having your body mishandled and your emotions abused, having your heart feel discarded and your mental neglected, your self-esteem minimized and your soul unprotected. I put myself through so much by stepping down from my throne. Cause if I really loved me, I'd be sitting alone. Not looking for no man to provide the love I never gave me. So desperate for a happy end and I sit and wait for them to save me. I guess fairy tales did more harm to us than they did good. Cause all the stories are misleading and maybe I misunderstood. Cause when does sleeping beauty get up? and take her feelings off the shelf and stop waiting for the nights to come and fucking save herself. Now, I'm not saying that men can't help you. That's not at all what I mean, sis. I'm saying that you could either be the damsel in distress or be the queen, sis. I'm saying that the man you get is determined by the woman you are, so you're gonna have to choose playing that I need a man to save me game as a guaranteed losing. Once you get tired of losing, you'll go hard for that win. The shit you searching for, I would is only found from within. Everything you've given to them, you gotta do for yourself without reservation. A man's love will never be enough if what you seek is validation. I've been so desperate for love, I gave myself this intervention. Because all the days of crying was me crying for attention. All the days of picking me second and putting these men first in the hopes that they would pick me and validate my worth. Cause you know, being a woman at certain goals, you gotta hit in life, right? It doesn't matter how accomplished you are if you ain't getting wife, right? It doesn't matter how pretty you are, you could be cute, fine, gorgeous, maybe find someone you think is solid and they'll leave after your baby. I wrote this poem to save me from a cycle of mistakes, putting my heart in situations where it's guaranteed to break, signing up to put on shoes knowing my feet will never fit them then complain about the pain when I walk so I can play the victim. We do this to ourselves. It's a flaw, I must admit. How many times have you given him the benefit of the doubt when you knew he wasn't shit? How many times did you decide to stay after he told you what it was, but you stuck around and satisfied trying to change him just because? Because you don't feel valuable, not enough to walk away. So you tie your value into your ability to make him stay? But why does it matter if he stays? If you got to put up a front, yeah, he's laying next to you, but you're not getting what you want. You want love. You want loyalty. You want better than what you're used to. You want to finally experience what it's like to be loved when a love involved is mutual. You want a man who embodies what men are and you can say he's yours with pride. You want to scream it from the mountaintop to love. You ain't got to hide and you deserve that. I know you don't always feel that way, but you could be loved on your level. You'll be surprised the energy you attract when you decide you're not going to settle. You're going to get all that. When you let go of the self-doubt and let your self-love intervene. Because after we go through this intervention, let's make a game plan to get clean and call it rehab. The steps you have to take and make sure that you learn. No more accepting what's been given to you. You're going to get the love you earned. Step one is healing. Because baby girl, after all of this is through, before you can find the love you want, you got to fall in love with you. You got to stay single. I know just hearing that you got a little bit annoyed, love. But filling your bed with different men ain't never going to fill that void, love. See, you keep thinking this is about dating and choosing better picks, but it's something broke inside of you that a man will never fix. And you got to address that now before you end up in the worst place. Cause it was never about what he did, it's why you chose him in the first place. It's something fucked up within you that the men you pick are revealing. Only women that feel damaged keep choosing men in need of healing. And what does it say about your heart if you keep putting it up for grabs? You constantly feel empty cause you're trying to give away what you don't have. The seeds that you've been sowing were never theirs to reap. You've been handing out parts of your soul God intended for you to keep. And I can only keep a 100, babe, it's something that you lack. For you to keep giving your heart to men that will never love you back, this goes for me. This goes for you. It's a hard truth I had to mention before we seek to fall in love. Let's do a self-love intervention. Thank you.